Right, uh, I am at the Hourland Reserve today and I am joined by an amazing team who's going to do something really cool. Let's get to know the team. Hi, I'm James and I'm the team leader of ICS Greenergy. I'm Toto. Brian. I'm Bram. Peter. IQ. Dom. And today, this team is going to be setting up a solar power system so we can power this eco village, which is completely off grid. Once again, to the team. Well, busy time going on. So over here we have a bunch of stuff, right? A whole bunch of things that are required to make sure that a very simple solar energy system works. We've got a panel. Uh, we've got uh, we've got some wires, of course. We've got a solar charge controller. Uh, we've got a light bulb. We've got a inverter, uh, we've got a battery, and we've got a 220 volt uh, air blower. All these things need to run during the daytime and the nighttime. So these guys are busy over here trying to figure, let's take a look at what they're up to. These guys are busy over here trying to figure out how they can draw a circuit diagram that works. It's only after their circuit diagram is approved they can move to the next level of actually yeah, connecting so these things. We'll try our best. <laughs> you know this? This comes out here. So those two will be plugged into the battery here and here, right? And then which will then those those uh, two nodes will also be connected to the inverter directly. So then positive and negative charges go to the inverter, then after that will be... hits uh, 3 o'clock, so it'll have like 5 hours of sunlight. That's good. So, we finally accomplished our goal. So, here is the solar panel here, set up here. It'll have around 5 hours of peak sunlight, uh, according to the Sun Tracker app. And here, it was all the way to cables, all the way to the so, plug around here. Be plugged into the solar panel controller. And there, from there, it will go. It's also it's connected to the battery here, which is then connected all the way to the inverter, which is then will power this leaf blower that's plugged in to the back. And okay, right now it's plugged into the Wi Fi, which is why it's on and running. And for here, it's, uh, the controller is also plugged into the switch that powers the light, which can go on, off, yeah. And it's successful and it can work overnight because uh, when the solar panel is inactive.
So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the solar panels that we're gonna be using. These ones we have to handle with delicate care because if any sort of bend happens while moving and transporting solar panels, the cells crack and then it just breaks the cell and destroys it so it can't be used to absorb the sun's energy. Putting the solar panels on the roof now. I see a strategy on this. One, two, three. I see a strategy! All right, so we've had some practice sessions in which the students have been cutting some uh, of the pipes and the wires. And the purpose of doing this is so they know how to actually connect in the real world. So over here, these lights over here, we've got these LED strips. So can you hold up the strip, James? Right? This is an LED strip light, right? And they're all being connected so that we can have lights up in this area. Right, so the students have to connect, plug that in, connect it through here, and then eventually all the way there. Right, and once that's in place, you're gonna power it up, plug the wires in too, and we'll have lights here at night. Now that we're done with the wiring job, now we can turn on the light. Yeah, we got light! Yeah. 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 ICS Clarity!